everybody, my name's Ardendris, and welcome back to the channel. I don't think this is gonna be scratching itch, but it could be if I wanted it to, but this is gonna be multi parts, and I kinda wanna keep scratching itch to one off things. So, um, welcome to Dweller's Empty Path. This is, um, this definitely relates into yesterday's video. If you. It has a pretty similar art style. I cl clicked off the game so I could open up a web page. <laughs> yes, this is Dweller's Empty Path. If you watched yesterday's Scratch and Itch video, we played through a game called The Empty Chasm, if I remember correctly. Escaped Chasm, sorry. So, uh, yes. We played through Escaped Chasm yesterday by Tammy Chang. With, uh, music by Toby Fox. Both names that you might have heard of if you've ever heard of the game Undertale, which I'm assuming a very large number of people has. But, um, yes, this is a sequel to that game, more or less. Like, specifically, even this character on this main page here for the game showed up in some of, like, the ending animations for Escaped Chasm. So I figured we might as well just jump into doing this one as well. And from what I can tell, this one's going to be quite a bit longer, so this is probably going to be two, maybe even three parts, depending on how long it goes. But anyways, just a quick overview. It's more or less the same names who made this game as last time. Story, characters, concept, illustration, pixel art, and animation by Temi Chang, once again, from yesterday. Music by Camellia, who did the arrangements and production, plus melody and chords. Toby Fox, who did melody and chords, and Temi Chang, who did melody and chords. So, more people put work into the music than just Toby Fox on this one. And then, special thanks to... a whole bunch of people who helped, uh, teach the... to... to helped teach this, uh, the creator of this, how to use RPG Maker to do this, and how to, and just, like, a whole bunch of t play testers and whatnot. I, I would go through all of them, but, yeah, there's just a lot of names on here, and, uh, I'd, I'd probably spend, like, a minute or two just in the reading out names. But, um, yes, as far as I can tell, this take, yeah. This takes place after a Escaped Chasm, but isn't, like, a full-on sequel, it looks like? Well, it's a sequel, but we have a different main character, and maybe some time has passed and we're taking a different look at the perspective for the story. And it does have a connected story from the canon ending to Escaped Chasm. I also don't know if this one has multiple endings, but... They did do some work looking into how to, what more they could do with the RPG Maker system when they made this one. Cause this one has save and reload, which I'm gonna be having to take use, make use of, I think. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna be jumping right back into this and getting into the story. So, um, let's go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> My head... It... Hurts... All of these voices and all of these faces are flooding into my head. Who... Are they? Uh, it feels like my head's gonna burst open. Someone... Make it stop. Well, that's an eyeball. Who are you? <laughs> hmm. Huh? We get a slightly different art style this time. And definitely a different color palette. Huh? Another nightmare. I have been getting a lot of these lately. Um... I have a feeling he's behind this one again. Uh, 
I don't think I can fall asleep after that. Well, no use laying around in bed. Hello there. Cute. Guess I'll go for a walk to clear my head mind a bit. Do 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 do. <laughs> Sun's out. It's too bright right now to use my lamp. Oh, I forgot about these apples I left here. They still seem good. I'll eat one later, though. Checking my schedule. Seems like I don't have work today. Well, I usually don't work on weekends. My garbage can. I should probably empty it out soon. It's starting to smell. Huh? There's a crumpled up note in here that says, Hold shift to move faster. What is shift? Oh, I have auto run on. So... Pressing shift actually makes me slower. <laughs> oh, I can can I look out the window? It's bright and sunny out. I'm not going it's my bed. Go to sleep? No, of course. I haven't even left the room yet. I don't need to change clothes. What I'm wearing right now is fine. It's not like I have much variety anyway. Maybe I should pick up some new clothes sometime in town. I think this game does come with a map, because I think it's a much larger map than just a house. <laughs> I was looking through a lot of the settings and reading through, like, the description for this, and there is a uh, map in the... map and guide hidden in the, uh, files that came with the game. So, if we get lost, we'll look at those. Maybe writing a journal might help take my mind off things. Should I record stuff? Yes. Yes, full-on file system rather than just one. Thank you. I don't have too much to write about right now, anyway. Yes, thank you, game. That is much appreciated. Yeah, all the lamps are gonna say the same thing. A nice painting. It's bright and sunny out. A landscape of a mountain. It's really pretty. Player's spare broom. I can't use the fly, though. I just clean with it. A nice painting. This is... I'm gonna assume Claire's bedroom, then. Who is Claire, though? A photo of... A photo of... She kind of looks sad in that picture. In, in that little uh, thing at the bottom left. I wonder who this photo was that would make them look like this. Make them make a face like that, rather. My old journal. I filled up all the pages, so I have a new one now in my room. Uh... I'm too embarrassed to read my old journal entries. A spare broomstick. A spare wardrobe. It has some of my old clothes and Claire's outfits mixed in there. I am... I'm... I'm... I'm actually having a hard time controlling myself from starting to make it, uh... do-to-do -do noises to go with the music. <laughs> Anything to see out the window? It's bright and sunny out. No, just the same thing. And nothing to do with this plant, so... Hey! Our house is a little... Oh, we're outside. Hold on, I, sec I saw who was outside. Let's deal with the inside stuff first. We want to take a look around. The living room couch. A.K.A. Claire's bed. I wish she'd just used a guest bear upstairs. Guest bear? What? <laughs> I guess... <laughs> Ugh. I wish she'd just used a guest bed upstairs. I guess I'm pretty guilty of falling asleep on it, too, though. The fridge is pretty empty. I should do some shopping in the village soon. Stove. I have so many unpleasant stories involving this thing. I should cook this fish soon. Soon. Soon? What's soon? I'm apparently already having a hard time speaking today. <laughs> I always get to wash your hands before you prepare food. I had no idea was a, that was a sink. I'm... I don't dislike this art style in comparison to the other one. I think... Well... I think I prefer the art style on Escaped Chasm. Because I honestly couldn't tell that was a sink. But it is still... I still do like it. I do enjoy 8-bit stuff sometimes. I'm assuming you've got to be clear then? Claire's broom. 
Why does she have so many brooms lying around the house? <laughs> wanted. I love that wanted photo. <laughs> I liked that picture of me, so I decided to keep that one. Lots of spell books and such. Some of these are in languages I've never seen before. Player is really smart. Looks like a lot of ingredients for formulas and rituals. A lot of old torn up notes and formulas, it seems. As well as some failed experiments and empty vials. Hey, hey, that's my journal! I don't go looking through your stuff without your permission. I'm pretty sure you do. Well, maybe. But don't look through mine! My stuff is cursed! You'll be haunted! By who? By me, of course. You're right, wouldn't want that. <laughs> Hello there, Claire. Yo, good morning, Yoki! Ah, so that's our main character's name, Yoki. Aren't you awake kind of early? Good morning, Claire. It is pretty early, huh? I haven't been sleeping all that well lately. Hmm, yeah. You don't look so good. You don't look so great these days. Was it another nightmare? Yeah. I have been getting them a lot more recently. I can't remember the last time I got a good full night's rest. This one was especially draining. I feel beyond exhausted. Hmm... You know... I'm thinking... It was probably his doing again. You know... Zera... Yeah... I saw him outside next to the house after all. Uh, he's still here? He's still there? Wait, was I supposed to go outside the door and then come back in? <laughs> How would she know that if I didn't do that? Was... Did I get an extra line here because I went outside first? <laughs> or did she just know it? I may be reading too much into it. So you saw him earlier too then, huh? These nightmares feel much more aggressive lately. I wonder if he's mad at me. Man, what's with that guy? Why is he so fixated on you? Think he's got a crush? I don't think that's it. I don't think it's that. Well, whatever it is, seriously, be careful around him. If I could get rid of him myself, I totally would. I put up so many spell barriers around the house, and he just comes in and breaks them like it was nothing. Don't worry about me. If it ever comes down to it, if he ever tried anything, I can take care of myself. I'm not scared of him. Ooh, you're so cool. After all, it's not like he's ever tricked you or roped you into his schemes before. Uh... Hey, if you're heading out again, do you think we can pick up my order from the doctor's place in the castle town? Sure thing, if I end up heading that way. Thanks a bunch! Claire's latest work. What a strong smell. Wanna try it? No, thank you. Uh, organic ingredients for spells and formulas. Okay. <laughs> so, we've got a main character, Yoki, here, who we're running around as. And that the lonely girl, as she was titled in Escaped Chasm, was dreaming about this world and was specifically ugh, seeing images of Yoki. Which is something peculiar. And then... You know, I kind of get old-school Zelda vibes from this uh, art style. No mail today. But also, this is straight up just a guy from the last game, right? 
I'm assuming you're Zira. I'm um, almost certainly with how they were talking. And you were 100% the guy who took the lonely girl out of the took the lonely girl out of the world that was being destroyed and opened a portal to this world. So, we might eventually see a wolf girl running around. That might be a thing. But you, Zira, are apparently a pain in our neck. Of course you're here, Zira. <laughs> you don't look so happy to see me. I'm never happy to see you. <laughs> oh, so mean. So, what is it? Why are you here? I'm just dropping by to visit my favorite forest resident. And what else? <laughs> That's all. Hmm. Hmm. I don't buy that for a second. You planted that nightmare I had last night in my head, right? Hmm. Don't give me the silent treatment. You want me to be useful to your plans and such, right? Would I really be of any use to you when I'm this fatigued? What's the point of doing this? It's my way of showing I care for you. Maybe you should care a little less. <laughs> How long are you going to stand next to the house? How long would you like me to stay? You could leave now if you'd like. <laughs> okay, then. So, uh... <laughs> okay, so I, I'm starting to see how the, these uh, relationships work. <laughs> so, uh... Claire and Yoki live together. Yoki sleeps on the couch instead of a bed for some reason. And it's sort of like... And Claire's like the friend who will just like go peeping, peeking through your stuff apparently. Not like to be specifically mean and whatnot. Just because they're mis mischievous it seems like. <laughs> and then we got Zira over here. Who is uh... Not a friend's. N probably not even really an acquaintance, <laughs> but he enjoys messing with Yoki and Claire, I'm assuming, <laughs> and has uses for them. Some vegetables me and Claire have been growing. Yep, same thing on those both of them. So, what, we've got free rain now? <gasps> it's a chicken! Chirp, chirp! Are you feeling lost? Confused? I'm here to help! Would you like a hint? Mm, sure. Have you helped the lost traveler find his way? Chirp, 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 chirp. It's a well. Oh well. Our well. I don't really need any water right now. Uh, can we interact with anything? Apparently there's a traveler lost in the woods somewhere that we've got to help out. I'm just sort of looking around right now to see if there's anything else to do. Okay, we've got a northern path out, and a southern path out. It's just a question of which way do we go. I guess we'll go north, because north, we're up here. Ooh. Oh, look at that view. I'm assuming that's the castle town off in the top left there. Anything else hidden over here? Nope, just a pretty view of everything. Okay. I'm okay with that. Hello there. Oh, it's you! I've known you since you were very little. I've been watching you over these years. You've grown so much. And you look so much more tasty. I think I remember you. I don't recall you ever wanting to eat me, though. I thought you were a more peaceful beast type. I am peaceful. I won't eat anything that's alive. I only eat what's already dead. 
Ah, so you're a scavenger. Okay then. I've been waiting for you to die ever since I laid my eyes on you. I can't wait for that day! Oh, nope, can't keep that voice up. <laughs> I need a moment, sorry. That definitely messed up my throat. <laughs> sorry about that, that was a... Uh... I started doing that voice for a little bit, and apparently I didn't drink enough, or because my... apparently my throat was dry or something. Because that voice just severely just messed with my throat for some reason. Probably better now, I just... Drink up some water, let myself, let my throat settle a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get back into it. Uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> I can't wait for that day. Don't look so enthusiastic. The man who visits you, he also looks so tasty. Is she talking about Zira? Oops. <laughs> You know what, I'm gonna keep with that voice for you. Yeah, you, know, you just want to say the same thing. Figured I'd check. So I guess we head south then. Yeah, what's a cute little fox? Oh, there's uh, another animal friend hidden over there, but it seems like we're gonna have to go down the southern path to get to them. Hello, fox friend. <gasps> oh, bouncy fox friend. Hello. You're very cute. Also, butterfly. <laughs> I am easily distracted by animals. <gasps> Another chick. And... Like... What are you? A My immediate thought was squirrel, but like the... The only thing that very much... The fox does three hops, you just do one. What about the little chick friend? Chirp, chirp! He has an acorn in his mouth. Oh, those must be squirrels then. I was right. With my immediate thought. Okay, nothing else is hidden in this corner. I sort of just walked past the mailbox over here. <laughs> nothing to deliver today. Oh, hello there. I was not expecting to come down into your house. I just wanted to knock and see if someone was home. The lamp is on. I guess even though it's sunny out, there's no windows down here. You've got to be a bunny girl, right? Or a bunny person? Boxes of what looks like a spare parts. I guess your mechanical arm needs a lot of maintenance. Aren't these vegetables from my garden? <laughs> Does everyone just mess with Yoki? Is that is that just a thing? A photo of me, Claire, and a model. A model? But there's scribbles drawn over Claire's face. Hey, model's bed. The bed is hard as a rock. Also, there's a charging cable attached to it. Seems to be a manual for various machinery. Did she write this herself? Hello there, a model, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh, Yoki! You came to visit me! What a surprise! Hello, hello! You're very cute! And... I see what they mean about the mechanical arm. <laughs> A model, hello. You're also very short, apparently. I see you're in the middle of repairs right now. Yeah, I've been at it all day! Did you damage your arm? What happened? I got into a fight with a beast type earlier. I'm not really sure what I did to upset her. I don't think I did anything un unusual. I was just minding my own business. Next thing I know, she charged right at me and tore through my arm. My mechanical arm got damaged a bit, but it's nothing the best mechanic in the whole kingdom can't fix. It's a shame Claire's potions don't work on you. Otherwise, I'd go and grab one for you. Uh, even if they did work on me, there's no way I'd take it. Knowing her, she'd throw in poison just to spite me. I don't think she'd go that far. Well, maybe she would. <laughs> 
I bet she would. I bet it was her that agitated the beast type to attack me. Next time I see her, I'll give her a piece of my mind. I really don't think she upset the beast type. If anyone agitated the beast type, don't you think it'd be Zira? Oh, uh, I guess so. I guess I've been seeing him around more lately, huh? <laughs> also, I love the expression here. <laughs> like, oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> and you should give him a piece of your mind instead. No way! Zira's really scary. Tell me about it. What happened to all that energy from earlier? <gasps> You're adorable, A model. Do you really think Zero would have agitated that beast type? If it was anyone, it'd be him, right? Maybe. Uh, but why would he do that? He only ever focuses on you. I guess you're right. So if it wasn't Zira, it was definitely Claire. <laughs> you're just looking for a reason to blame Claire, huh? I wonder if it really was Zira. Beast types have been unusually active lately. <laughs> okay, so we're slowly meeting our cast. We've we've got our friend and housemate Claire. We've got a model of friends who does not like our housemate Claire. <laughs> uh, we've got Zira, who no one likes. Who just hangs around to spite people, sort of, I'm guessing. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. And then we have a beast type, apparently, who wants to eat us when we die. They won't let me through. Okay, so... Can't go that way, because the butterflies are blocking the path. So I guess we go down here, then. <gasps> Hello, fox friends. Yeah. Okay, you're scary. I'll leave you alone, big scary fox. <gasps> Squirrel. <gasps> this squirrel does flips and twirls. <laughs> As I said, very easily distracted with animals. Um. <gasps> hmm? Spins and twirls and hops. What are you? Uh, raccoons, maybe? It really doesn't matter. I'm just talking to literally every animal. Ow! But you must be like a wild boar then. <gasps> and there's a chick and another fox. Chirp! I am literally joined to talk to every animal for no reason other than I like animals. I apologize, this cannot be helped. <laughs> Nothing hidden over here. Another squirrel friend. Um, guess we just keep following this path. Eventually it will lead us to something. Hello, bunny friend. Ah, we started with the bunny friend, I'm sorry. Hmm? Huh? Oh, there's a path down. I didn't even notice that first. Bunny friends? We can't interact with this bunny friends. Or... Oop. Yeah, we, we have no interaction with that bunny friends. This bunny friend likes to hop, though. Fox friend! Okay, I don't have to interact with every single animal I see. But I really want... Chip, chip! Okay, we can go this way. What's up, though, first? No! Must resist the urge to talk to literary, literally every single animal I see. I know there's a person there, but animals? No, let's deal with the person. This is probably the traveler that the hint bird was talking about. It's strange. No matter how far I walk, it's like I'm going around in circles. Rumor has it that this witch has been enchanted by a witch. Did I say this witch has been enchanted by a witch? 
It definitely said the forest has been enchan enchanted by a witch, which is what I meant to say, and probably not what I did say. <laughs> All who enter the forest lose their will way. I guess the rumors are true. I'm lost, too. I guess he's talking about Claire's barrier. The barrier only activates as strangers get too close to the house. So, the barrier should be broken at the moment. I guess it's still in effect enough to make some people lose their way. Uh, are, uh, are you not affected by the enchanted forest? Do you think you could help me get out of here? I've been looking for the nearby village. Help him out. Okay, try not to stray too far away from me, though. Thank you so much! What a relief to come across someone so kind! We've got a follower now. <laughs> Hello, dear friend. Lost Traveler, such a pretty deer! I'm stuck in a corner. I'm stuck. More deer! She seems a little nervous. It's girlfriend? <gasps> such a fast little squirrel! I want to see his reaction to these animals. Seems a little scared. This boar seems a little mean. Okay, so there are two paths to take. Left and down. Or right and down, rather. Um. Seems shy. <gasps> cow friend. Moo. What's a cow doing this deep in the forest? Yeah, how strange. Okay. Did I choose progression? This looks a little rough. Let's turn around. I agree. Oh. Poor fox. Is he being jumped by what looks to be three wolves? Oh. I want to help. This little deer seems hungry. Okay, I definitely chose progression, but I want to see what was up in that other path. Um, We're gonna backtrack first, cause I don't know if progression is one way and I won't be able to come back. I'm assuming it probably won't lock off this area permanently, but I really just want to see what's up here first. I want to see everything I can. So, back up we go! Hmm? We've changed, uh... Okay, that's something. We've changed, uh, environment. Miss, where did you go? Hello? Yes, this is Zira's doing. He probably doesn't want any visitors. Okay, found a thing. <laughs> Hello there, who are you? It is always a pleasure to see you again, Miss Yoki. So this must be Zira's mansion. <laughs> oh, what an unexpected surprise. I will have some tea and snacks prepared for you immediately. No need. Oh, you've come, miss. Is there anything I can get for you? Stay as long as you like. Hey. Those of us who work for Lord Zera have either been created by him, or have been acquired by him. Hmm. There's nothing in here. These beds are surprisingly very soft and fluffy. There's nothing in here. Okay, so Zira steals people and makes them work for him, or creates people. I'm assuming, like, homunculi, maybe? Uh... My reflection. Uh, it started laughing! Hmm? Is that a portrait of himself? Uh, it smiled back at me. Why is his house so creepy? What an impressive-looking sword. 
Yeah. It, this kind of looks like a shrine to himself, which honestly wouldn't surprise me. You've got to be some sort of magical crystal. This crystal, it's weirdly soothing. I was sort of expecting this to be something big and important so that when I imme as soon as I started talking to it, Zero was going to show up. Oh, hello there. <laughs> like this. You saw it, didn't you? My reflection started laughing. Hmm? Hmm. The way the music disappears when I'm talking to this person... Is that a portrait of himself? It, it smiled back at me. Why is his house so creepy? Hmm. That little... The... Uh, person appearing right then... And the music going away when they started talking to me made me think that there was going to be something else there. Kind of weird that there wasn't. Why did it make a pained expression? My reflection. Why does it look like I started crying? So we have three rooms here. Let's just go right to left then. Another maid. This room, is this is a room being kept for a certain someone. We tidy it up every day as as we wait for the day they join us. And who would that someone be? A fancy lamp that seems to emanate a dark aura. I don't even want to sleep in my own bed. Why would I sleep here? My reflection. Did you smile back at me? So Zero's weird, as if we didn't already know that. Uh, hello there. Uh, same thing if I do this again, I'm assuming? Yeah. So, don't go in that room. <laughs> Sorry, not even you may enter the Lord Zero's room. Okay, so is that everything to do here? We just sort of learn that Zira creates people and steals people. Uh-oh. Do I have to go back and collect the dude? Uh, let's go see if that guy's back there. And then we'll start hopefully heading back towards progression. Where was he? Uh, yeah, here you are. Oh, uh, there you are. There was a strange fog, and next thing I knew, I was back here. I'll try to stick to you more closely this time. Okay, so let's avoid losing this guy again. Which way do we go, though? Should we go le down or right? Let's go back down. Down. Yeah, go back down. Ugh. We had started down this way, and then we got distracted because I want to go see what else, what everything else is. So, yeah. we have a sign there that I'm assuming leads to a town. Seems interested in us. Is that a frog? What are you? <gasps> yep, it's a little froggy. Hop, hop, little frog. Left to village, right to castle town. Uh, did you want to go to the village or the castle town? I don't remember. How cute! The bunny wants to play! I think you wanted to go to the nearest town, right? Warning, beast type territory ahead. Good thing we didn't run into any beast types. I'd have been a goner for sure. Yeah, you really were lucky. Maybe you being affected by the barrier was for the best. Okay, so we've got more squirrels and more wildlife in the corners. I'm not going to talk to every animal. As much as I want to, I actually can't talk to any of these. I do like checking every corner just in case there's something hidden, though. But I guess we just got to keep heading south. South village. Ah, this will be fine. Thank you so much for helping me out of the forest. Sure thing. 
I wonder how he got so deep into the forest. Did he not notice any of the signs? I wonder if Zara had anything to do with it. Forest path ahead. Huh? How did my journal end up here? Should I record stuff? Yes, thank you. I was hoping that's what the sparkly lights were. <laughs> so let's drop in a save here. And uh, it'll actually take a... Yeah. 39 minutes, roughly, of gameplay. Really? That's all? Oh yeah, I took a break in there. Because of my throat acting up a little bit. But, um... Yeah, looking at the time, this is going to be a pretty good place to end it off. From what I can tell, this game is probably about two hours, and that's probably not... That's probably without voice acting? So this is, might actually be up to, like, five episodes, maybe. That might be pushing it a little bit. Probably at least three, though. But... Anyways... I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have. And I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everybody.